Hi everyone and thank you very much for joining me in this tutorial. So let's check out how this application works so first and then later on we are going to talk about the coding section. If the company, if a company wants to come and you know post a job, it will have to register its profile first. So let's register the profile of a random company and I have picked up Ericsson. and uh, this is a simple registration form which the company can fill okay so the one once the company gets registered successfully uh, this is how the modal comes and then uh, let me just show you the company's profile. So there is a table called company profile in which the profile comes and sits. This is a username. Let me log in now. Okay, so this is Ericsson India. And if I come here on post jobs, I can see job title, job description, skills required okay my jobs there is nothing selected candidates also we have you know empty chat box and this job details uh, conversation we have an empty chat bot over here so let's come on this post jobs first and here i'm going to create a job so job type package ranges let's assume it is this okay now comes the submission so a job ID gets generated in the back end. Here on my jobs, I can see all the three jobs which I have posted on behalf of Ericsson. Now it's time for us to create a profile of uh, a user. So this is the video. And let's upload the resume also quickly. So I'm going to upload my resume, right? Uh, this is the one which I would like to upload. Qualification is BTEC MCA. Experiences, let's assume 11. Python JavaScript and register employee. So I've registered uh, a profile with name Gaurav. Okay, now it's time for us to log in. So now, uh, before I move to the login section, let me show you the company profile table employee profile table we have three profiles this is the one we just created employee response we have nothing in it in jobs we have in total eight jobs four by ericsson four by hcl three out of these four i've created in front of you in this uh, video when it comes to conversations it is also completely empty coming back to the main panel here i'm going to log in as this person so this is the profile which i created before shooting this video so this is how the profile information comes and what happens is when the user clicks on let's go this complete profile information go and get saved in the session so that we can use it from uh, you know or across the pages of the user so here if you see there is uh, this user's information and then if I click on jobs in this body section all the jobs gets populated in the form of cards. These two have already been marked as closed by the respective companies. So let's apply for this job. If I want to check out the complete description let's come on read and this is how the user can check the complete description and these are the skills required. Same thing goes with other read more links also. Okay. Principal engineer. So let's go with this one for now. Uh, except. Okay. Let's apply for this job. Principal engineer. Okay. So the moment user applies for it, the status FAC has got changed to applied. Now I'm going to open another browser. So which will serve for me as a third device morgan is this let's pick it up and put it here 
the password also I have to key in okay so we have the profile here let's go we can see the profile information of Christopher these are the jobs and I'm going to apply for the same job which Gaurav has applied for so I can take the job ID from here okay and I can simply search for it so it says accept and reject correct but before I apply for this let me come on the uh, companies panel so for that I'll have to pull the companies profile so it is HCL's job correct so let's use the username of HCL for logging into the companies panel okay and here uh, you know we can see the post jobs thing and then my jobs these are the jobs now if you see here number of interest is one and this is a person who has showed his interest for this job okay now I'm going to show Christopher's interest also in this job so let's accept it and the moment user accepts accept it what happens is the number of interest changes to two and I can see Christopher's ID also over here let's assume that uh, you know this HR of this HR who created this job on behalf of the company was expecting only two interest so now he can simply hide it so here on the uh, you know panel of the users of the application they see the job as closed right so this is the one we just closed correct okay what is the next thing so now it's the time for the HR to take an action now what happens is the moment user HR returns after closing a job he can simply click it okay here we do not have any candidate my jobs this is not the one I think this is the one yeah we have two number of interest here so HR can click it and the cards which are marked as closed okay those are the only ones which are clickable the ones on which we see this hide button these are non clickable remember this okay so HR can click it and this is how he see the job details then and there is a small chatbot over here now this chatbot is something which is uh, based on gen AI what happens is if the user wants to if the HR wants to find out the best candidate out of these two okay or let's assume that there are thousand or ninety uh, plus or you know there are multiple candidates who have showed their interest for this job now the HR has to pick up the correct one or the perfect one so you can simply type uh, the relevant question here for example please tell me who is the best person for python profile okay okay so this is how uh, you know the you hr can get the response so if you see here hr asks this question okay and in the back end what happened is there is lang chain which we are using let me just show it to you once so there is lang chain which we are using what this lang chain does is it creates a chroma db okay and the name which it assigns to that chroma db is this job id so people who have applied for this job only the resumes of those people gets considered so the people who have applied for the job their profile gets stored in this uploads named folder from here uh, you know this route called ask that we have created comes and pick up the profile uh, or you can say the PDF of those users okay from these folders and then it sends to the lang chain which creates a chroma DB uh, giving a specific job ID name to that particular uh, you know in uh, chroma DB and once that gets created this question goes and hits it and then uh, you know it brings back the response from lang chain and show it to the user over here so it says uh, gaurav final updated resume cv and then this is a person okay whom 
uh, Langchain things as that is suitable for Python profile. So we can search for it just a second. So for example, if there are multiple profiles, okay, and then if the user want to search, he can simply use this, you know, search box. We can provide a static search box also on the top, but uh, just to keep it simple, they can search it like this. And then, you know, the moment he clicks it, what happens is he gets to see the profile of the user in the form of a modal here. Okay. So if he wants to check out his resume, he can simply click on view resume and he gets redirected to the resume of the person. Okay. And if you want to uh, check his video, this is how he can check it. If you want to chat with that person, if the HR want to chat with that person, he can simply come on chat. And then from here, he can ask whether he is available for the job or not. Hello, uh, Gaurav. I hope you are available for this job. Now, before sending the message for this particular job ID, I would like to show you something on Gaurav's panel. Okay. So coming back to the Gaurav's panel, this is Christopher's panel. This is, I think, Gaurav's panel. Okay. So here, if you see, we have closed. Right now, the moment I send the message, what happens is here, the closed has gone away and we can see chat message here. Fine. So this is a profile which this person has applied for and now he received a response from the HR. So this is a message which HR sent him. Hello. No, I am no more available so let's assume that he is not available he can send it send a message like this and intimate the hr about the same sorry so if you see here he has intimated the hr about it now what is the next thing the hr can do is he can contact chris about it because he is the only one who is left who applied for this job and HR wants to hire someone urgently. Hello. Are you available for this job? Okay. And let's come on Christopher's panel and then let's go down. Here we can see a message. No, I am not. Thank you for reaching out. Okay, so Christopher is also not available for this job. Right. Just a second. Where is it? Yeah. So he's also not available for this job. Now it's time for us to come here and let's click on this close. So what happens is the moment user click on this, the the moment HR click on this close, this job again gets open. And here if you see in, on the users panel, for this particular job, where is that? For this particular job ID, now it says applied. Okay, so he has already applied, he cannot apply anymore for this job. But yes, there are other users who have registered on this panel, they can come and they can see this job and they'll be able to apply for it let me just show it to you how so coming back to this database and then database structure employee profile and we have one more profile Gaurav Jain which we created some while back in the beginning of this video I hope you guys remember and I'm going to log in using this person's ID what is the job ID? Let me pick it up from here. This is the one. So see, he sees it as open and then that is the reason he sees these two buttons. Accepted. So he has accepted the job. Now uh, it's time for us to check here. Okay, now we have three number of interest and we can see Gaurav's name also added in this candidates interested list. So this is a complete, uh, you know, Nokri application. I've demonstrated it to you how it works. And then let me just show you uh, what all things have been used in the backend. 
So we have used SQLite. We are using SQLite in the backend uh, database. Um, when it comes to Gen AI, we are using all these, you know, libraries and functions. Then there is .env for loading the open API key. So there is this env file that we have created. I'm not going to show it to you because, you know, it has the open a API key which I'm using. So you can just put it there and you'll be able to use it then. Okay, this is a complete, uh, you know, code written in Python. So if you are friendly with Python, if you if Flask is something which you find yourself comfortable with, you'll be able to understand it very, very easily. It's very simple. We have just created the profile for the Gen AI thing. I've already showed you. We, have, we are using an ask route. Then fetch jobs is for fetching the jobs, the cards which you see on which the jobs information comes and you know the user is able to see it that is what we are uh, fetching from this particular function fetch company jobs is something which we are using for company profile then comes submit response for submitting the response uh, of the user for each job toggle job status is for hide and you know close thing which i showed you fetch candidate details is for pulling the candidate details ask is for lang chain thing right then we have uh, save conversation. So the last three functions that you're seeing, fetch conversation, save conversation, and check conversations are for communication. So that is it from my side. Please try to set it up on your device and let me know your feedback on this uh, video and on this application, please. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Take care and have a great day, guys.